All right. This is the final presentation of Group 5, Group Flintstones. And we are Daniel, Jared, Jessica, David, Tanner, and Anna Marie. Let's get started. Introduction of the project. As a group, we are enrolled in the course principles of management near at USF, St. Petersburg. The purpose of this presentation is to provide anyone that has an interest in management or just wants to enjoy a twist on a cartoon and understanding of various management concepts. Throughout the semester, we have been educated on the skills that are necessary to have in order to be a quality and effective leader. The group has been put to the task over the course of the semester explaining course concepts by recreating scenes from the cartoon. The topics discussed range from decision making to the structure of organizations. Introduction of group members. The members of a group are Jared, Daniel, Jessica, David, Tanner, and Anna Marie. Anna Marie is a senior working on a bachelor's degree in marketing and is obsessed with Disney movies. Tanner is a junior working on a bachelor's degree in marketing and he loves the outdoors. Loves to be outdoors. Jared is a senior working on his bachelor's degree in management. He also likes to cook. Daniel is a junior working on a degree in information systems and management, ISM. Jessica is a senior working on a bachelor's degree in entrepreneurship and global studies. She's interested in traveling around the world. We all may not have the ability to work on assignments for this course in person, but we all make sure to contribute to the absolute best of our abilities. Table of Contests Summary and Concept Our Mission Target Market Characters Episode Development Management Concepts Storyboard Introduction Demonstration of Concepts General Conclusions Group Reflection Recommendations for Future Students and Citations Summary and Concept The goal of this project was to help illustrate management concepts throughout this course to help other people better understand management through a TV show and how it is applied in examples people can understand. Concepts we try to set up try to set them up in a way that people understand our strategic user implementation, communication, strategic management, overcoming barriers, and business relations. Our mission. We used finger puppet finger puppets of the Flintstones as our characters in order to create our television show. The plot lines and the concepts that we have produced in the episodes of our TV shows so far are based on what we have been taught throughout the course so far about how to manage an organization. The episodes show humor and the realities of having to work for a difficult employer. Target Market After discussing various ideas of what show the team wanted to use, we settled on the Flintstones. One of the biggest reasons the show made sense was due to the fact that the Flintstones were originally conceived as a children's TV show. A group is taking a show like this and putting an educational spin on it. By applying what our group has learned throughout the course so far, we have created a series that is meant for both children and adults. Children would be attracted to the show due to the nature of the graphics and characters. Adults would be attracted to it because, because of the idea of applying management aspects to a cartoon show. The idea is to make the show enjoyable for all. With the use of animation and application of groups education, we were able to create an intriguing show that teaches managerial aspects to the younger viewers, like how to work with others well and solve problems 
efficiently and effectively. We would teach our older audience something new, perhaps. Adults could learn up-to-date managerial practices that they were not taught in school or were not familiar with in the work environment. The Flintstones are a hard working cast of characters that we want viewers to be able to relate to. If the audience is working, if the audience is able to understand the Flintstones and the Rubble's way of life as it relates to theirs, then we have achieved success. The main goal of the show, while being funny, is to educate all. Characters. The main character that frequently gets hurt while operating the Bronto crane is Fred Flintstone. He is doped into promotion he should have never received in the first place. He's married to Wilma and they have a pet dinosaur dino and a daughter Pebbles. Fred possesses a participative style as he wants as once he receives his promotion to higher management, he feels that everyone deserves to have input. When it comes to big decision making, he will deal with ethical dilemmas throughout his time as upper management. Wilma Flintstone, Fred's wife and mother to Pebbles. Wilma has an affiliative management style by creating harmony among the characters in the show. She's more concerned with keeping everyone calm and happy. Barney Rubble, Fred's best friend, a neighbor that also works at the quarry. That is the reason that Fred received the promotion to upper management. Though he and Fred get into many feuds, they will always work it out in the end. Barney is, a married, uh, Barney is married to Betty and has a son named Bam Bam. In our television show, Barney is portrayed as the whistleblower. Barry Rubble. Barry Rubble is mother to Bam Bam, wife to Barney, and best friend and neighbor to Wilma. Betty and Barney also have a pet kangaroo, dinosaur, Poppy. Betty has a pace setting type of management style as she prefers to do everything herself rather than asking for help. And Mr. Slate, Fred and Barney's hot tempered boss at the Stone Court. He possesses an authoritative management style by being firm, but all in all fair, at least until the mishap with Fred's promotion when he comes when he becomes a director management manager. Episode development. Our episodes were developed based on previous episodes while adding in management concepts in our, te uh, in our television show and dinosaurs coexist with caveman, saber toothed cats, and the occasional woolly mammoth. The technology used in the Flintstones is made from pre industrial material materials and is powered through the use of animals. For instance, the cars in the show are handcrafted from stone and are powered by the feet of the passengers. Management concepts. Planning. The process of choosing organizational goals and courses of action to achieve set goals. Controlling. The process of establishing, measuring, and monitoring systems to evaluate how well the organization has achieved their desired goals. Finally, leading. Motivate, coordinate, and energize individuals to achieve goals. Storyboard introduction. The television show takes place in bedrock in the Stone Age. Characters in the cartoon are cavemen that listen to records, live in split level homes, eat at local restaurants. Since it takes place in the Stone Age, dinosaurs coexist with cavemen, saber toothed cats, and the occasional woolly mammoth. Knowledge used in the Flintstone construction site is made from pre industrial materials and is powered through the use of animals. For instance, the cars in the show are handcrafted from the stone and are powered by the feet of the average passengers. The main characters, Fred and Barney, work at a construction company. The episodes will, po will portray how to run a, uh, and manage a construction site while living in the Stone Age. The main characters work for a very hot tempered boss at the stone. Mr. Slate, down at the quarry. Even though their boss can be difficult to deal with at times, he still portrays how to run a construction area well, while still maintaining a personal relationship with the employees by meeting them for drinks or a party. Episode 1. In Bedrock City, Fred, Wilma, Barney, and Betty are all best friends and are trying to link up after they get off work. Barney and Fred are pretty set on where they want to go out to eat. Over the years, their wives have just gone with their husbands wherever they wanted to go out to eat. 
since all their husbands do is eat unhealthy and go to places they want to go. Since they go with their husbands all the time to these unhealthy places, they are trying to watch their figures. So Wilma and Betty decide to try to go to a different place that offers a healthy alternative for them. Even Fred and Barney want to keep eating unhealthy, even though. Everyone decided to sit down and talk about what they want to go and finally where they want to go and finally everyone is satisfied with the choice that offers unhealthy food for Fred and Barney and healthy food for Wilma and Betty. Episode two Slate Rock and Gravel the company that Fred and Barney works for. Mr. Slate is the owner of the business and is an older man that loves his money that will do anything to not spend it. Barney and Fred are workers for Mr. Slate, but Barney has far less experience than Fred. Since Mr. Slate doesn't like to spend a lot of money and only has so many employees that have to work for him, when someone doesn't know how to do a job, can slow down operation and won't get down, won't get done. Barney can figure cannot figure out how to work a certain diner's arc, but Fred didn't have time to train him properly and was out of his pay range. Fred and Barney went to Mr. Slate's office to demand that he hires someone to train them properly, or Fred to get a pay raise and extra time for the extra time to train some of the employees to make sure they know how to use all the dinosaurs correctly. So four. Fred and Barney are working, and Barney gets us sad because he can't drive and operate the truck as good as Fred. He's feeling very down and depressed. He cannot figure out why he's still in the team. Fred understands what is going on and decides to step in and do something. He goes home to his wife and talks about her for guidance. She suggests him to go talk to the boss, Mr. Slates. The next morning, Fred goes to Mr. Slate to talk about it and explains everything. Mr. Slate comes up with a solution. He motivates Barney to make him feel better and explains how great of a worker he is. Mr. Slate shows skills of leadership and motivation. These are vital skills for a manager and leader. So 5. In Bedrock, the business of construction is going rapidly and a new competitor just opened their business less than one mile away from theirs. So Fred, Barney and Mr. Slate they need to come up with something that is out of the box so they can keep up their productivity and keep making money. So they brainstorm ideas and everyone comes to the conclusion that they spend a lot of their time walking around to make goods and that waste a lot of their time doing that when they could be doing other projects. So Fred and Barney invited a vehicle that invented a vehicle that can transport not only them faster, but the materials they were carrying out faster. Once they start doing this, they regain their business from their competitors and now have a method to increase their productivity, make work easier, and to make more money. Episode 6 Slate Rock and Gravel Construction Company is going through major changes with equipment used on a daily basis. Technology is changing for the better. Mr. Slate wants to get rid of the dinosaurs because they are too expensive to feed, maintain, and they are slow in production. The dinosaurs don't always do as the workers say, and a lot of the time is wasted trying to get the dinosaurs to be in a good mood to get the job done. Mr. Slate is certain that the company can benefit from using equipment such as switching to big construction equipment such as excavators, skid steers, compact track loaders, etc. This change will change the way Fred manages the employees. It will change how fast they get the job done and it will allow more hires because the company will be working at a faster pace and thus more, thus more people will be needed. General conclusion on management. Throughout the first seven weeks of class, our group has been able to accomplish the assignments needed to be submitted for that week. As of this writing, only 
Tanner, Jessica, Daniel, and Jared found the management is crucial for every book, for everyday business. It helps with the organization of the business. From the readings, we have been able to develop a better understanding of what a manager's duties in order what a manager's, manager's duties are in order to effectively operate an organization. One factor of being a manager is the ability to work with others so that they can also fulfill their duties as an employee. We also learn about the different levels of management, such as upper level and mid level management. Upper level, uh, upper level focuses more on the planning, mid level management executes the planning to the employees. A manager fulfilling their duties creates a stable business foundation that enables its employers, employees to operate with proficiency. Group reflection. Being, make, being able to work in a group is not the easiest of tasks, especially for an online class. As previously stated, a group has been able to complete assignments successfully. That being said, there is always room for improvement, whether it is a group or individually. Jared has been able to meet up on campus, but could be more active in the online aspect. Knowing that there are more group documents to be completed in the future, he will look to assist them. Tanner, Tanner helps uh, form the episodes in person and also filming acting, but can also help more online. Jessica writes down the episodes on paper in which Jared, Tanner, and Daniel, and she comes up uh, with when they meet up. They come up with the foundation and ideas of the episodes or assignments to then record or format. Daniel has been given the task of constructing the blueprints for our major assignments using the appropriate Microsoft application. David has been doing voiceovers, although he can't meet with the rest of the group on campus. Anna Marie is unable to meet up with the group on Thursdays because she has to work. Thus, she elected to assist online with typing and developing the PowerPoints, video presentations, as well as creating the introduction to our episodes while combining the intro with the video itself. Course Reflection Daniel By enrolling in this course, I have learned a lot of information about the responsibilities and requirements that it takes in order for a manager to successfully run an organization. I found the course lectures to be very amusing, considering the fact that Movies, television shows, and comic book characters are constantly mentioned and have some characteristic that makes them personify the principles of management. Jared. Principles of management has been one of the most useful classes I've taken at USF thus far. Since starting this course, I've been fortunate enough to see the particu particularity of it used in my field of work, construction management. The education I received on ways to manage a company or team, styles of leadership, and decision making among other topics was very informative. Jessica. This course has taught me the many skills a manager or a leader needs to obtain in order to keep an organization running. Although very similar, there is a difference between a leader and a manager, and it all boils down to motivation. I also learned organizational skills decision-making skills, communication skills, and how to work with a group of people on a project for long periods of time. The cool thing about learning these concepts is that it can be used in a workplace or in personal life. David. Principles of Management is one of the most enjoyed classes I took during my years, my years in USF. It has been very entertaining due to the great references to my favorite movies and TV shows and comic book characters. I learned a whole bunch and I will and I feel ready to incorporate my newly acquired skills and knowledge in my career. Tanner. In our class, I have learned a great deal about how to be a leader. I learned that you don't have all the power. The power is earned through making relations and by creating a better workspace. I will be able to use this information from this class years down the line. This info is very important in our everyday life, and that's why I really enjoyed this class over this last semester. Anne Marie. During this management class, I learned a lot about all types of management concepts and the correct way to execute them. Without great management skills, one could never be a great manager, nor do well in business world. Recommendations for future students. 
For students planning to enroll in this course, we recommend to take this course in class instead of online, as learning about the principles of management requires a lot of attention and reading. If you must take the course online, then it is extremely helpful to have a day when the whole group can meet up to talk face to face about what is needed to complete in the episodes. One of the advantages of taking this course online is that there is that we are able to work around everyone's schedules to meet most of the every uh, meet most of everyone's needs in the group. A few a few tools that we recommend using are Google Docs, Group Text, and know how to use various Microsoft Office applications. Selecting a time to meet on campus once a week to kickstart that week's task, and doing such has proven to be very helpful. Remaining group members, Anna Marie and David, are able to see the group's creation online and have assisted in putting the finishing touches on the assignment. Since week one, the group has been able to function like this and it seems to be working. Citations.